Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft with a quick video tutorial which you guys requested on how to build these three different flower pots. Now before we start, I know it's not a super special video, but I mean I'm really busy right now. I'm setting up my Google Plus account, Facebook, Twitter and all that stuff. But most importantly, I am now officially partnered with RPM, which means I spent six hours on my YouTube background. <laughs> Damn it, why do I always spend so much time on these things? I have no idea, but I guess I just want things to look good. Either way, you know, it's much better than the one we had before and I'll obviously much appreciate it if you take your time to look at it and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Right, one last note before we begin. I have been working on a huge building for the past 3-4 to four days and I might be able to have it finished for the next upcoming video. I mean, the interior isn't done but the exterior looks really good. So definitely don't miss it, subscribe and keep updated because this could very well be the best creation I have built so far. It's based on the city of Rome and that is all I'm going to say, I'm just going to leave it at that, no more clues. <laughs> right, anyway, enough has been said, so without further ado, let's begin today's tutorial. Right, so let's begin with the easy stuff first. This design is really simple, it's just one block wide and it works great in practically any environment. And I'm sure it's been used a thousand times before simply because it's so simple. What we have here is a grass block with trapdoors all the way around, then just one block of fence and three blocks of leaves. And then you can add some extra decoration with some vines. And that is the first design. So moving on to the second design, and this is a much larger flower pot, probably fit for a mansion, but it's up to you what you want to use it for. I think it works well in most cities. The only issue is the leaves. If you change the graphics to fancy, and we're going to go ahead and do that now, you'll notice that you'll be able to see through them. And I do have a redstone lamp in there. Whoops. It was actually glowstone. <laughs> but I mean, it's up to you what you want to use, whether you want to use fancy graphics or fast graphics. I don't think it makes much of a difference. I think it looks good both ways. Right, so for this design, we're going to start off by adding a basic square of cobblestone stairs. Then we're going to place three blocks in the middle. One, two, three. Grab some spurs wood and make your way around the top, ignoring the corners. And that is practically the platform complete. You can grab some leaves. I'm going to be using oak leaves. And we're going to fill up this platform with two blocks. And again, make your way all the way around with two blocks of leaves. Five blocks on the top. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to be a little bit spontaneous. So I'm going to add two over here, one here, two again, and one. Just on the corners, make sure you ignore the center so you can see the wood. I think it looks much nicer like this. And obviously it's going to look much better once you add the vines. You can do that in your own time. And you can always add some glowstone in the middle if you want to light up the entire flower pot. Right, so now on to the last design. It's huge, <laughs> but I think it would look nice maybe at the entrance of a castle. I'm quite proud of it. I think it looks rather interesting. We're going to start by placing a plus sign of cobblestone and make our way around the entire edge with cobblestone stairs. Four blocks of cobblestone in the middle, so one, two, three, four. Then upside down stairs on the side. And upside down cobblestone stairs around the top edge. So now we need to place cobblestone stairs at this position. And that's going to be the same all the way around. And then upside down stairs facing inwards. So you should initially end up with this shape. So one final touch with the cobblestone and then we can move on to the greenery. We're going to place a full block, upside down cobblestone stairs and then the cobblestone wall underneath. Like so. So again, full block of cobblestone, upside down cobblestone stairs and the cobblestone wall. So 
So now we can finally finish off by adding some greenery. I'm going to be using some spurs wood leaves to fill up this entire gap. And we also want to extend it an extra two blocks along the edge. So one, two, and one, two. Then we're going to add two extra layers on top and obviously make it smaller, cover up the cobblestone. And one final layer on top, just a small plus sign. And again, we're going to be spontaneous and just add random blocks here. So one, two, three, one, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, one, one, two, three, and one. And then obviously you can add your glowstone and your vines to make it look a lot more interesting. Right guys, and that concludes today's tutorial video. Don't forget to leave a rating and a comment below. I'll much appreciate it as always. Stay tuned, subscribe, keep updated because I'm going to be doing plenty more Minecraft videos. Simply because I enjoy it and I always have you guys watching my videos, which is just awesome. So once again, thanks for watching. This is Jerocroft over and out.